Welcome to The Freak Show, everyone. In today's video, we are gonna talk about American Horror Story Season 7, what we know so far. So spoiler alert, if you do not wanna know anything about American Horror Story Season 7, do not go further. Mm -hmm. First off, don't forget that I am here every single Wednesday on my channel streaming at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time for American Horror Story weekly Wednesday live streams. Come join me here for that. And then on Fridays, it is Beyond the Horror Murder House. This Friday, we are talking about episode five of Murder House, and we are here every single Friday talking about American Horror Story as well. So two days, come back here and you can come hang with me and we can all talk American Horror Story. Uh, don't forget as well, at 5,000 subscribers, you guys get a house tour. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, also by the subscribe button is the little bell notification button. Just click on that and you'll get notifications like when I go live and when I post new videos. Anyway, moving on to the news. Guys, our very own Ryan Murphy gave an interview to E! News on February 13th. The link to the actual video is in the description. He spoke a feud, American Crime Story, and if you love those two shows, which I do, you can go right now to Netflix and watch American Crime Story Season 1. And feud starts March 5th. So, if you love those two shows and you want spoilers regarding them, go watch this interview. As far as American Horror Story news, Ryan confirmed that this season, season seven, will be a secret and set in modern times. But then he says that he hasn't decided or actually talked to the appropriate people regarding the marketing. So Evan and Sarah, he did confirm, are the leads this season and they are clueless as to their characters and what the season is going to be about. Ryan says that they just went back into the writer's room for season seven. So the show will debut early this year. Season seven is more than likely going to come on September 6th. He said that it will follow right after Labor Day. So the Wednesday preceding Labor Day is the 6th. He wants it done or in or around Halloween, he says. Uh, Ryan said that the story is very fun, it's modern, very topical, and anyone who voted in the last election will very much enjoy what it's about. So let's take a second, guys, and let's actually break down what Ryan said quickly. Now, he confirmed that the season will be a secret, but then he said that he actually hasn't talked to marketing yet on how to proceed. So. I think that's conflicting information, and I still firmly believe that we will get the theme March 26th at Paley Fest. I still intend to be there for you guys that day. Then Ryan also tells us that they all just went back into the writer's room. He said they went back, meaning they have already planned this season. Don't forget, Ryan says that they usually plan the season like a year before. And then it takes them almost a year to write it. So this season has been most likely in the works for about a year, a year and a half. Now, when he says that this season is going to be very topical, I think what Ryan means when he says that is that there's going to be no underlying uh, secrets. Such as, you know how I had the theory that Shelby was a witch for Roanoke, which I still hold on and hold strong to that theory, even though it is sort of inaccurate. <laughs> um, he's basically telling us that there's no storylines, uh, you know, that you need to look too deep into. What you see is what you get. That's what I think he means when he says topical. Now, when Ryan says that anyone who voted in the last election will very much enjoy what this is about, 
a lot of reporters and news outlets are taking that to mean that this season is going to be about politics, that it's going to headline Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. I don't think that at all, actually. I think that's actually kind of funny how they took what Ryan said and just completely spun it out of control. I don't get that at all when I hear his comment about anyone who voted in the last election will very much enjoy what it's about. What I think of because I voted in the last election is that you vote for the person that you want because you think that the because the other contender you never think is going to win. You just never, you think one one person's going to win and one person will not. And it turns out that the person that you didn't think is gonna win was the winner. So I think that is what Ryan means when he says that anybody who voted. I think that Ryan and a lot of American Horror Story cast and people supporting the show would not have voted for Donald Trump. And I think it was a shock to them when he became president. So I think that Ryan is merely talking about the shock value of some things, of, of a sure thing not happening. So I, I really think that that's most likely what he's talking about. I really don't see anything political at all. I think Ryan is just talking about the feelings that we felt during the last election. I just don't think that that is, it meant anything in regards to the actual election itself. So guys, that is it for the video. That is the newest American Horror Story news. Thank you so much to everybody who sent me this information. I did see it yesterday. Now, one thing I wanted to say, guys, I do apologize. I am getting a new laptop. <laughs> I am putting out my newest book, April 25th, Murder by Alpha. I am in editing right now and I have procrastinated so much. I am just so busy. So thank you all so much for everything that you do for me, all the info you send to me. You guys are amazing. Uh, don't forget to come back every Wednesday, every Friday. I am here with you guys live to talk American Horror Story with you. And afterwards, the video is uploaded. So if you want to know the newest news for American Horror Story, just come to the channel and the newest video will be and there guys, for you. And guys, if you would like to connect with me in a way other than YouTube, I am on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as Mary Girl Moody. So if you would like to correspond with me there, I am there as well. Thank you all so much again for watching. This is Mother Supreme saying see you next time. Mm -mm.